Well, speaking with currencies, we usually talk to Sarah Eisen about currencies. This morning, though, we put her on the gold meet, uh, beat. We know gold has been on a long winning streak, the longest in 60 years. Sarah Eisen standing by with more on why most of the street does not expect the gains to end anytime soon. Sarah. John, if the forecasters are right, gold's rally still has a long way to go. As you know, gold has been on a hot streak. It's up 17-fold in the last decade, but it might not be too late to jump on the bandwagon. Strategists we forecast, we, we surveyed here at Bloomberg expect the gains to continue. Now, looking back at 2009, the average price for an ounce of gold is $971. In 2010, on average, strategists expect an average price of $1,100. That's 13 percent higher than the 2009 price. Now the forecast matched today's gold price. So what's the incentive then to buy gold? Well, we did some analysis and we learned that as gold prices rise, so do the forecasts. So the chances are if gold is headed higher from here, then those forecasts will climb as well. If you're still not convinced gold is going up, just ask the top forecaster of 2009. That would be Philip Clapwick of GF MS Research in London. He came very close to predicting the price in 2009, and he is still bullish on gold for next year. Wouldn't give us an exact forecast just yet, but did say that zero interest rate policy in the U.S., coupled with massive U.S. fiscal deficits, is a recipe for a gold rally. By the way, the London Bullion Market Association awarded him an ounce bar of gold for having the winning forecast of 2009, John, right. and he says he's still bullish. Okay. Well, we know, however, that some people who may have gotten into the gold market late in the game might have, been, might have been stung so far. So what's the bearish case? Well, the bearish case is really back to the dollar. If the dollar continues to rise, and we have seen it up about 4.5% since the beginning of December, that could put a, an end to the gold rally. We know about that inverse correlation between the two, as gold is often bought as a currency hedge against a falling dollar. That's part, one of the reasons it's been up so strong this year. Another risk is all this bubble talk. Some say that gold is trapped in a bubble and it could come crashing down as the bubble bursts into 2010. So one fan fund manager we spoke with says that if it is in a bubble, it's in the early stages. So that would that would uh, argue for still some upside in gold price, John. All right. Sarah Eisen with the latest on the gold story.